Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to our study of the second chapter of the Old Testament prophet Joel. And uh, Joel, we find out, is from Judah, which is the southern nation of Israel. And, uh, uh, and Joel perhaps was looking in his rearview mirror just a little bit when he remembered back to uh, the the portion of uh, the point in time when King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon swept through Judah, uh, devastating the land and, and taking their, his fellow Judeans into captivity in which they spent about 70 or so years. Um, the time of exile was was horrible for them, and in in, in reflection, he uh, believed that this was a punishment from God that had occurred because of the hundreds of years of of the, of the people ignoring God's uh, call on their lives. And so, in this book of Joel, Joel does some uh, it gives us some very uh, severe and vivid imagery to tell us a little bit about what the uh, the day of the lord this this judgment day was like and could be like in the future in chapter one he he describes it like a a, a, a plague of locusts that come and just sweep through the land and, and 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 take everything out and in the second chapter our chapter for today it's more like a human army that comes through and does the similar sort of thing but I want to focus today on verses 13, 12 and 13. So I'm going to read them for you right now. Joel chapter 2, verses 12 and 13. He says, But now turn to me while there is still time. Give me your hearts. Come with fasting, weeping, and mourning. Don't tear your clothing in your grief, but tear your hearts instead. Return to the Lord your God, for he is merciful and compassionate, slow to get angry, and filled with unfailing love. He is eager to relent and not punish. Notice what Joel says first. He says, first of all, he says, there's still time. There's still time. And I think that's a good word for all of us today, that we think it's too late and God's saying, no, there's still time. And, and in Joel's day, he used this image of, of tearing one's clothes that people would often use to outwardly show that they were uh, uh, repenting and they were filled with grief and uh, it was it was a sign that said look at me I'm so I, 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 I so want you to see how sorry I am so I'm ripping my clothes but the Lord says better yet he says I would like a repentant heart he said tear your hearts not your clothes and, uh, and this reminds me so much of Jesus' parable in Luke chapter 15, where the, the wayward son comes back to the compassionate, loving father. The young man had, had wasted so much of his life on looking for meaning in all the wrong places. And, and, and he had he'd gone through so much destructive, uh, endured so many destructive consequences. In the midst of it all, there's this picture of this loving and compassionate, merciful father who's there waiting for him. In fact, he runs toward him when the son turns around and, and comes to his senses. And it's just a sign of uh, Joel's words and uh, Jesus' words are signs of God's commitment to us, his faithfulness. And, and, uh, and though we will still continue to walk through troubles in this world, he says, ultimately, he will be faithful and full of unending love. Uh, that, that, and that's all that really matters, isn't it? So wherever you find yourself today, uh, always remember those words. Return to the Lord your God, for he is merciful and compassionate, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. Have a wonderful day. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.